Hey everybody, this is Betsy Vampire and I am going to do a series now of my collection which will be like my collection video series of like variety of things in my collection that I'll go one by one uh, through the collection, the consoles, the mangas, the anime, etc. And I'll show you what I have so far. True, so for some of these systems I am still collecting like games but it's what I have so far so here we go today's video will be about PS1 and true, so there's still so much more to collect on the PlayStation 1 that I have on my wish list because PlayStation 1 and 2 just had so many good games uh, I'll just show you what I have so far and in the future I'll try to keep you up to date so this is me and my boyfriend's collection of PS1 so far so let's get started so here we have Street Fighter plus Alpha uh, plus yeah plus Alpha shit man sadly I'm gonna warn you some of these games got a little damage in the fire like that I had in my apartment uh, last year and I'll explain that more into details for whoever didn't know that but you can check out my vlog if not I'll talk about it in another vlog a bit more but uh, I just have to replace most of the like some cases but it just has like you know some cases got wrecked but anyway um, I have this it was I don't think I spent it twenty dollars. I never removed the price tag for this one. I don't think I paid twenty dollars. I think I paid less. It, it wasn't the best game, but I had a good laugh and I liked collecting games. And yeah, it's just Street Fighters. It wasn't the best, but it's actually okay to play. There's worse, but here's a game that I had like since my teen years. Cause I bought it at Microplay. There's not many Microplays around the world. Um, what's this game? I'm not a big fan of all style park games, depending on the game. The one I used to like was the Nintendo 64 one. But uh, we have this. The style park game. I forget what it's called. It just says South Park. Apparently, it's not great of a, that great of a game. That one, as my boyfriend says. Um, shit, man, this guy get some cleaning. Oh, we have Soul Blade on PS One. Now this is really cool. Now I have to really play it more. Like this is a challenging, but we have Soul Blade. It's really awesome. I love this fight. I like fighting games. Some I'm good, some I need my practice a lot. Uh, what is this game? Because some games are old. We have the first Soul Hunter, but the case got pretty beat up in the fire. But as you can see, got Soul Frontier. I think we have two, or we don't have two. If ever in the case, like I said, I can always replace the cases. But that's a good game. I remember playing at a friend's house. I'm just, just we're really sad. Look what happened to our cases. Now at least majority of the games it was, if ever something got damaged, it was just cases, so cases can be easily replaced. But um, you know it's still a pain in the ass. But uh, we got Parasite Eve 2, which is a great game. I think I'm going to go shopping for cases at one point on the internet so for not that deal. This one didn't get that beat up, but still. Okay, Parasite 1. Really good games, I must play. Also, games we have. Well, we have this demo. We have PlayStation Demo. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, what other games we have? We have Azard, uh, Azard Dreams, which is really cool. I love the old style animation. Really nice stuff. PS1 it has a lot of memories to me and my boyfriend, and as well as I love, um, just love collecting PS1 games. There was just so many good games. I'm still collecting PS1 games. 
We have Bloody Roar, but this is because the cover it's not really that much. Bloody Roar, my boyfriend's a big Bloody Roar fan. I like Bloody Roar also. We got Bloody Roar too. Man, this these games are cool, man. It's like you no know, just don't do that many games like this anymore. And I, I always like playing the bat and the cat girl Rico. Rico. And yeah. Okay, I don't think this one got damaged. But I remember getting Chrono Cross for like twelve, thirteen dollars. And I really like Chrono Cross actually. I like Chrono Trigger more, but I actually love Chrono Cross. It was a good deal. For really not expensive. But I like in games sometimes uh most of the time Amazon not bad in price. Now I have a few store near here. We have what is this game? Command and Conquer. I think I played it a bit once long ago, but not too big on Command and Conquer. Well, on this one. It is sticky. <laughs> we have this game, which. Yeah, Cloud, man. And a fighting game. Before this, the, the Dissidia games. A whole bunch of characters from this. This game wasn't really that great, but it was interesting and weird. But it's one of those obscure games. And yeah, Cloud. It's just they had to make it really present. Cloud in a fighting game. What else do we have? We have Fear Effect. It's not a bad game. Fear Effect. This mountain's gonna get higher. Recently, a while back, we bought this. I just have to clean the case because we took off the stickers. But very nice addition to our collection. Final Fantasy Anthology. So we got five and six in here. Which originally I bought some games digitally on the PlayStation. Three, but uh, it was good that we finally got physical for that. This sadly at the time, this was really hard to find. Did this get wrecked? This... No, I don't think it got wrecked. This was really hard to find at the time. I want to make sure everything's still okay. From my, my two discs. Okay, this was really hard to find at the time, and it was Final Fantasy Chronicles, which was Final Fantasy. Five, I believe. No, no, four. With the Final Fantasy four and Chrono Trigger, I looked everywhere for this game when I was younger, in my teens, and I wanted it so badly. And eventually, I found it and I bought it. It was the greatest hits, but whatever. I managed to buy it, and I was so happy. I love Chrono Trigger and FF four. As some of you might know through my videos, here are some games. The, uh, this game we already have, but my boyfriend got it for cheap in Japanese. Valkyria, uh, Valkyrie Profile. Now, I think he paid like $8 or 10 bucks, And he really wanted to play it in Japanese because just of the voices and stuff. And, uh, well, hopefully he'll master his Japanese more when he goes back and study. But, the over back of the case looks very nice and having that option to play in Japanese is cool but it's going to be cool when you will understand more of the language so we got that in Japanese we also got another game that apparently they did on PS2 like with better graphics or better something but my boyfriend's a big Gundam fan and he got this for like super uber cheap it was an import game of Gundam, which the artwork looks amazing. And I got it, uh, since we do not have a Japanese PlayStation, uh, we were able, I was able to just fix the emulator for him and he could play. So that's cool, that's really awesome. I'm gonna put everything aside here because if not the mountain of games. So here we have Mega Man. Legend 2, which I like the Legend series. They're really 
It's a really awesome series. I'm really sad that there wasn't a Mega Man Legend 3. There was supposed to. But like Roll looks cool in her outfit here. And I just like the style of the graphics and gameplay. And you know, more upbeat and stuff. Sorry if you hear noise in the background. I cannot control that because there's thunder outside. But it's good because I'll make the place more fresh. And I don't have power over nature. I'm not like an X-Men character here. And I had Mega Man Legend 1. So we have both games. So I'm happy. But guess what? Because what happened with the PlayStation 3 at one point when they finally got Mega Man Legend Digital. Uh, this is the one that wasn't edited. Because there were certain things that they kind of edited. And did things. So I'm happy to have the <laughs> original game. I love this game. I used to play on Nintendo 64 a lot also. So we have those two, which is a must. We have Lunar 1, which I'm very happy to have. Um, the sad thing is I don't own physically yet Lunar 2. I really badly want Lunar 2. And it's just because Lunar 1 and 2 are like my favorite. And I really love Lunar and stuff, so I'm bound to get number two eventually. I want the collector editions on my wish list. So, like, yeah, I really, Lunar is one of my favorite games. Uh, we have the booklet. Did we get the book? Um, okay. We have Legends of Mana. And I saw the Game Boy, um, Game Boy Advance Swords of Mana, which was like $19, and I actually want to go grab it it's in a gamer shop in my area. And Legends of Mana is a beautiful game with beautiful art, and following in the Mana series of games, the Mana games are very popular for the ones that came here. Here's another one of my favorites that I can only get greatest hits, but I would like to change the box maybe just at one point. In this game is one of my favorites, and it's Legend of Dragoon. Now this game goes way back with me, and I got my brother into this. Now this is really awesome, it's too bad they didn't make a second game, but it's seriously a thing that wasn't really ever done, the combat style, it was, it standed out, and I remember so many good memories about this, which I could talk about one day, but just... Yeah, it's, it's just an amazing game. I really love Legend of Dragon. We have Inuyasha, a feudal fairy tale, which is a fighting game on the PS1. I really love Inuyasha. I just recently restarted playing one of the PS2 games that I played a lot. This is a fighting game. It was okay. It wasn't perfect, but it was okay. I think the only Inuyasha game I'm missing is the one on DS. Um, we have Gran Turismo 2. <laughs> I think my boyfriend liked that. We're not into much racing car games. It really depends, but there were some that, okay. Okay, this game is, like, not really popular or anything. And it might look, it's not really maybe something that's looked upon really well. But I actually like this game. I think I spent, like, $15 on it because it's the last the price. But it's Grand Stream Saga, and I played this a shitload when I was in grade 6 or sec 1. And yeah, this game is awesome. It's actually, the art is really nice, and the graphics are okay for, for a whole game. But sadly, the only flaw in this game was the people had no faces. I'm serious, they had no faces. They, you just see their face, but no eyes, no, no mouth. It's like... They had no faces, so I'm like, what happened with that? But you would always see artwork, very customized equipment, and spells, and cinematics, and the old school animation, and you had two endings, and it was a really cool game. I really have a lot of memories with this, and I still love it to this day. Even if it had some fl minor flaws, it still was a lot of fun. So that was cool. Okay, we have... 
Final Fantasy 7, this is a must. I can't get into details about this, people talk about it in the video. But we have some doubles for games. Um, so we, we have like Final Fantasy 7 again. I think this is my copy. Yeah, this is my copy, Bob. Look at this. Get the sticker here. So we have some games that we have trouble. So, like FF7, um, Boyfriend had the black label. Like I said, just gotta change the cases. We had FF8. So, there's a lot, quite a few games that me and my boyfriend both had. And this was mine. And yeah, so if ever anything, we just have doubles. He had FF9, and so it's, we have FF9. But like, yeah, it's awesome, FF9. I would make an exception to buy it again on Steam if it's really worth it. But if not, hey, FF9 is epic. We have this wonderful game. This game's fucked up, but it's really cool. So yeah, this is cool. And uh, you know, man, PS1, it's just so awesome. I think I'm at my last pile of games for now. You must have Xeno Gears. If you want, this is a must. It's really fun. Good art, uh, art style, mechas, gameplay. Xeno Gears is your game. It's beautiful. Okay. Another game we have is Wild Arms 2. Now this goes back a long time ago from my video store in where I used to live, which was a little town called Tilbon. And this is the game I used to rent a lot at my video store besides other games that I used to rent and then buy whatever I can grab before people grab the other goodies. Uh, but this was the best ten dollars I spend. I really would rent this game a lot and then I bought it and I played it a lot and I like how like it's never really been done much like a western RPG and it somehow fitted well actually. The music, the combat, and then like you know you, in Wild Arms games you would play different sides of characters and eventually they would join up later on and how the animation, the opening would change at some point or little things like there'd be music and then later there'd be lyrics and it's just it was amazing. This is probably like a series of games I have to talk about my memories on each particular game that I'm very close with. Okay. I'm sorry if I'm moving a lot. I'm going to try to get the games here. This is another good game that I didn't have right away, but I'm happy that me and my boyfriend have it. It's Van Nagar Bandits. I really played this game a lot as well. I have a lot of memories with this as growing up in my preteens slash teenager years. These games and other games that probably that I don't have. Uh, I would have to share a lot of detail on, but this game gave you a mix of a sort of Gundam kind of thing, and I liked Gundam uh, animated TV series a lot when I was watching it on TV when I was younger, as well as whatever anime that would play, uh, like Escaflowne, Gundam Wing, uh, and tons of other particular stuff. But yeah, this game was really cool. I liked the game style and the animation. And as well as just the overall story which is just really unique and fun and I like work design uh, work working designs stuff and they always do a lot of good stuff it's too bad you don't hear much about them anymore but they really do good stuff now here I think it didn't get damaged so just needs a little cleaning but here's originally Valkyrie profile uh, on the PlayStation, and this is my one, my boyfriend's one of his favorite games. This is a epic game. Uh, he has probably all the games almost, I think. And yeah, he wanted to play in Japanese, and now well, he has it in English. He played it so much. I think he got stuck. I told him I could help him, but he he refuses for my help. But it's really, he got stuck at a part at one point, playing a different uh, option. But seriously, really good game. 
You can pick it up on PSP, DS, and then there's the other Valkyrie game on PS2. Okay, what is this game? I'm sorry, uh, I'm just going to check this is... I'm seeing like little demos. Oh, this is like... They have Square Enix Collection CD thingy of like demos and stuff so you I think you had like demos of Legend of Mana Legend of Mana Threads of Fate and Chrono Cross but originally this was Vanguard Story and I remember playing this this game wasn't easy it was fun it was unique but it was a little frustrating at times but this this game was interesting very interesting I'm gonna have to fix up the case that way but yeah, that's another interesting game. We have Time Crisis! Because my boyfriend really likes Time Crisis games. I really like Time Crisis games. I used to play them a lot at the arcades. They still have actually an arcade in Montreal City where they still have the Time Crisis 2 and 3. And then we have this one and we, I think we have, we have the one on PS2. We're just missing the one on PS4, the game. But we have the guns, I believe. Or we just need to get the one with the guns. But yeah, Time Crisis. This is a bit very good for a gamer party. This is also a very good game. Threads of Fate. Where you play as either the boy or the girl. And they have different stories and background. And then eventually you come across each other. And it's just, it, it was really good graphics at the time. And really nice stuff. I love it. So this is another nut. And this is another game through, I think it was intended more for guys than girls, but actually I really loved it. Uh, I managed to get it for a good deal. And this is Thousand Arms on the PlayStation. And this was like RPG slash dating. Dating, a dating simulator and depending on your relationship status and your relationships you form and friendship and stuff you get stronger you become a better blacksmith become better social skills get more people in your party and this is really it's like I like to say it's a little cheesy in some ways but it's not as like over exaggerated cheesy as nowadays with some games when they try to be, you know be like outrageous or perverted or funny and i like it when it's like i like it how they would used to do in the classic games like it wouldn't take much you wouldn't need to overdo it but it's a really fun game nonetheless for the story and the gameplay is cool and uh, i just like overall what you can do in the game also, here's the last few games. We have Tekken Tag Team Tournament 3. Uh, I actually like the Tekken series. I would like to collect more of the Tekken series. I think I have a few other games of Tekken, but I like Tekken series. And yeah. It was fun. Good times. Just to play with my brother. My twin bro. But yeah, I have Tekken. We have... Hard to tactic solve this game, which is okay. <laughs> uh, controls are like a little meh, but it's okay. And we have Street Fighter Alpha 3. So, yeah, this is so far what I have for my PS1. I think I don't see anything else in the PS1 section. So, yeah, this was my PS1 collection. Uh, video uh, part one. If ever I get any new games on PS1, I'll let you know and I'll talk about it and stuff. If not, uh, yeah, most of the games I want are all on my wish list. If ever you want to check out what I like to hunt for or grab and stuff, I'll include the links in the description below. So if you like this video, please feel free to share, like, and comment on the games that you like or you could do a video or uh, just comment on what you like in in what I showed here and your opinions and stuff I'm always welcome so yeah peace everyone and take care and have a nice day
It's really hot here. I am going to go cool down. And the thunder. So, bye bye. I'll be streaming on my Twitch channel. So, let's hope everything goes okay with the electricity. Peace.